Hi, and thank you for your interest in learning about EasyCBM, a universal screener and progress monitoring set of assessments available to students in grades kindergarten through eighth. In this video, we will explore the benchmark assessments administered in the fall, winter, and spring, and the specific skills assessed in those, as well as the many progress monitoring measures available to students in between the benchmark assessments. So let's get started. The district or diocesan administrators set the testing windows at the beginning of the year for the benchmark assessments. Benchmark assessments are administered to see how students are progressing in their learning throughout the year. They are also used to identify those students at risk for not meeting grade level standards by the end of the school year. Performance on the benchmark assessments can identify any underlying key skill deficits as well as the appropriate progress monitoring measures to administer prior to the next benchmark. Benchmark assessments are administered to students three times in the year, in the fall, winter, and spring, and they serve as a universal screener when all students take the assessments. And because each benchmark includes a full year's worth of content in reading or math, the assessments do not get more challenging as the year continues. They are designed to be of equivalent difficulty within a grade level and measure type. Once the administrator sets the benchmark testing windows for the year, the students automatically see each of the benchmark assessments assigned to them in their login. Students are assigned the assessment based on their enrolled grade level as indicated in the student file loaded within EZCBM at the school or district level. The student's results on the benchmark determine if the student needs progress monitoring prior to the next benchmark administration. Students scoring in the 50th to 99th percentile on the benchmark assessment are considered on track towards meeting grade level standards at the end of the year. They will not need progress monitoring prior to the next assessment. Students scoring in the 10th to 50th percentile likely have a skill deficit in one or more areas. Teachers will want to review the areas in which the student missed on the benchmark and select the appropriate measures for which to progress monitor prior to the next benchmark. The benchmark at-risk report will provide a recommendation for a progress monitoring probe to administer. If a student's score is in the 0 to 9th percentile on any of the benchmark assessments, teachers will need to review carefully the items the student missed. This student likely has a gap in mastery of early foundational skills. Based on where the skill gap lies, the teacher will want to administer a progress monitoring probe one or possibly two grade levels below on an earlier skill, such as letter sounds or phoneme segmenting if the performance was low on the phonics benchmark measure, for example. If the student earns the 50th percentile or higher on that earlier skill, the student may simply need additional fluency building work. In that case, the teacher might provide the student with the next grade level measure. If the student earns between the 10th and 50th percentile on the earlier skill, consider administering a progress monitoring measure one additional grade level below. 17 progress monitoring reading probes and 10 math probes are available per grade level for assessment in between the benchmarks to test the student's progress with defined interventions in place. To access the benchmark assessments, click the measures link from the dashboard. Notice the black arrow on either the fall, winter, or spring icons in the benchmarks area. The arrow automatically appears according to the dates entered into the system settings. The benchmark assessments can be taken online or paper pencil. For paper pencil testing, the assessments are available for download. One can preview the assessment prior to the student taking it online by clicking the preview link beside one of the assessments. EasyCBM is a web-based district assessment system, though assessments can be administered in either format. Some students can take the benchmarks online while others take them paper pencil. They don't have to be administered all in the same mode. All of the reading assessments available in EasyCBM are based on the National Reading Panel Big Five Constructs of Reading, Phonemic Awareness, Phonics, Fluency, Vocabulary, and Comprehension. The assessments for grades kindergarten and first grade are a series of one-minute timed fluency measures, administered one-on-one. -on -one. As the chart here shows, students in kindergarten take letter names, letter sounds, and phoneme segmenting in the fall, and then take word reading fluency, letter sounds, and phoneme segmenting in the winter and spring. For first grade students, the change in benchmarks occurs from the fall administration of phoneme segmenting to passage reading fluency in the winter and spring. The assessments for students in grades 2 through 8 are passage reading fluency, vocabulary, and proficient reading. These are group-administered recommended for online administration. 
They are untimed assessments, though take about 10 to 30 minutes to administer. Vocabulary measure is vocabulary in context. Students are reading one to two sentences and answering a multiple choice question about the meaning of the word. The proficient reading assessment contains one long passage of about 2,500 words and is between 12 items for grades 2 and 20 items for grades 3 through 8. It targets literal, inferential, and for grades 3 through 8, evaluative comprehension. It takes about 30 minutes to administer. An alternative to the proficient reading assessment is the basic reading assessment. It takes 20 minutes to administer and is an appropriate assessment for monitoring the progress of students who experience significant difficulties with reading comprehension or are pre-identified as a struggling reader. The basic reading assessment contains 25 items that focus on literal comprehension and key reading skills on informational texts, short literary texts, and texts that require students to read to perform a task. All of the benchmark assessments test a full year's worth of curriculum. Spanish measures are also available as benchmark assessments. For math, EZCBM includes both the basic and proficient math benchmark assessments. And though none of these assessments are timed, schools should allow between 30 to 45 minutes for administration. Each grade level assessment is group administered and contains three domains, beginning with numbers and operations. In terms of difficulty, the proficient math assessments are more challenging with a more spiraled approach to assessing math domains. It is the recommended math benchmark assessment for schools. These assessments measure what a student needs to learn in one school year and include specific grade level standards for which the measure was written. The assessments also include some questions one grade level above and below. The number of items on the proficient math assessment range from 30 items in kindergarten to 35 items in grades 1 and 2, 40 items in grades 3 through 5, and 45 items in grades 6 through 8. An alternative to the proficient math assessment is the basic math assessment. The basic math assessment contains about 45 items that assess specific standards per grade level. This assessment is designed for those students scoring in the lowest 20% on classroom math assessments. Though both assessments are available for paper pencil administration, we recommend administering them online. Benefits include instant scoring and immediate results. Separate norms are provided for the benchmark and progress monitoring forms of the math measures. For students scoring below the 50th percentile on the benchmark assessment, EZCBM includes progress monitoring assessments called probes for both reading and math. These assessments are administered to individual students or a group who are at risk for not meeting grade level standards by the end of the school year. Classroom teachers can assign the probes at the student's instructional level in between benchmarks to monitor skill progress with interventions and goals in place. The progress monitoring measures are located within the measures tab in EZCBM. Click the Progress Monitoring tab and then a grade level to see all of the measures. The blue links are clickable as well to navigate to the measures quickly. The assessments are of equivalent levels and students cannot receive a score for the same test twice. Progress Monitoring measures assess the effectiveness of targeted interventions and instruction put in place aimed at addressing specific skill deficits. There are 17 reading probes available per skill, though proficient reading includes 12 forms and the basic reading benchmark includes 10 associated probes for progress monitoring. All of the probes are of equal difficulty within each grade level. As one moves through the grade levels, though, each set of grade level probes is more challenging than the previous grade level. The recommended time frame for administration of the probes is shown in the chart here, but also depends on the speed at which teachers can reasonably expect growth in a particular skill area and the amount of intervention the student has received. Building fluency takes longer. The average growth is four to six words correct per minute per week for students who are far behind and are receiving instructional interventions targeting fluency building. And while the student's benchmark report will provide a recommendation about the progress monitoring probe to administer, the teacher can administer the on grade level measures of passage reading fluency, vocabulary, and proficient reading assessments if the student hasn't taken a benchmark. For the progress monitoring probes administered paper pencil, the student will use the paper copy with an EZCBM while the teacher uses the assessor's copy or enters the results electronically while the student completes the assessment. To assess the student online while they read the printed student copy, click the measures tab, select the progress monitoring tab, and select the grade level and measure. Then next to the probe, click the enter scores link. Select the group of students for whom to enter the scores and view the following screen on the right side. 
For the one-minute fluency measures, the teacher will start the stopwatch, mark the incorrect responses as the student reads, and mark the last letter or word read. The number correct is then calculated, and the teacher will click Save. A device with touchscreen technology is recommended for fluency assessment administration so that students aren't aware of when an error is marked. For students scoring below the 50th percentile on a benchmark assessment and thus needing a math progress monitoring probe, there are 10 probes per skill per grade level from which to choose. Each probe is a shorter assessment than the benchmark, but does include a comprehensive set of grade level standards for the specified skill. Like the reading probes, all of the progress monitoring probes are parallel in difficulty, so students can continue to practice the same skill if needed several times before the next benchmark administration. For students needing progress monitoring in multiple areas of math skills, the student can focus on one measure at a time, transitioning to the next measure type after all 10 probes are complete. Another option is for the student to rotate through the different measures so that each measure gets tested every four weeks. The recommended time frame for administering each math probe is 15 to 20 minutes per probe to allow for test setup and scoring. The assessments should be administered no sooner than every three to four weeks since it takes time for the student to learn the skill before growth will be evident through an assessment. To learn more about EasyCBM, check out our additional videos on an overview of EasyCBM, the available reports for administrators and teachers, the student testing experience, two additional programs also part of EasyCBM, and how to order and receive EasyCBM training. Thank you for your interest in learning about EasyCBM. Please contact your assessment consultant or visit us at RiversideInsights.com to know more about how EasyCBM can support your students and elevate their learning potential. Thank you and have a wonderful day.